Definitely gonna have to figure out a, a faster way to deal with that. And, oh no. Okay. Hey, dogs. Let's see here. Oh, we should have... There we go. Shulker boxes full of deep slates. Perfect. And we'll need to heal up the elytra. All right, catalyst. Let's get some. Yeah. We'll just grab some. While we're at it, more wood. We need lots and lots of wood. Mainly for things like chests and hoppers. We should... Alright. Let's start up the farm real quick. We'll collect some wood that way and then... And that would also give us some other extra time to for other things. This should hopefully give us plenty of wood. Alright, let's go collect our... Let's go reap our rewards. And then, oh, it sounds like they just, yeah, it sounds like they just uh, restocked. Now the question is, uh, yes, the elytra has been healed up. Perfect. Elytra is healed up. Now we don't have to worry about that. We have plenty of, oh, let's go ahead and get rid of the trees. Go ahead and get rid of anything else we don't want. Mm, kind of want everything else. Wood. Let's go get some wood. There. All right. Plenty of wood. All right. That is looking pretty good. Just because I know we might we might need it, I'm gonna go get some wool. Let's see here, any good colors available? We have lots of black. We have lots of all of these colors. So what should, I, since we're doing an underwater theme, usually you would think blues, uh, you know, these blues and teals. But hmm. Maybe we should go for the grays. Let's see here. How we can actually see the colors. Underwater. Underwater with coral reef. Hmm. Well, brown is definitely out of the question. Mm, and no to red. Yellow, maybe? Let's do yellow. Oh, I'm thinking about it. One more shulker box. Assuming that it is. All right, we don't have shulker box, but we can take some dirt. All right. Now, is there anything else? Is there anything else I should take? Lanterns. Lights. You're right. I should take some... S there we go. In fact, we'll put one... We'll have to carry some in our hands. And I already th forgot something. If you remember, we have supplies. Let's actually grab those. Let's see here. We'll take all of them. You never know when you need these. All right, let's go. Flying back. 
Hopefully with this, we won't have to come back for a while. This is going to be a giant pain if I have to come back. As high as possible. Now it's time to just play the waiting game. Alright, 900. 800. 700. 6. 5. Now we're in the 4s. 3. 2. 1. And there it is. We made it. Alright, first things first. We need to get out our iron. Where's the iron? There it is. Okay. Red choker box. Let's get out the iron. And activate this beacon. should probably make it so that it's easier to get to the beacon. There we go. Mining! Haste to activate. There we go. I th there we now we are set. Hello, mine. Let's light you up real quick. Anything good in here? You are so disappointing. You're so tiny. There might be another... Oh. Skeleton rattles over here. Ah, uh, like butter. So smooth. Nope. Don't. Anyway. All right. Well, this is a this has been lit up, so. Oh. Yeah, this has been lit up, so we won't worry about it for now. Let's head on back up. And start getting this built. We'll put you right here then. And then, all right, now let's go ahead and start. Oh, well, that's, uh, at least we still have some shulkers here that have a deep slate. Yeah. All right. This is going, this is perfect. Piles. We need lots and lots of tiles. Kind of hoping for the mods to update. There's a mod that allows you to just speed through that. All right, down we go. So first things first is let's get this circle done. Be gone, pufferfish. I'm actually kind of liking that setup like that. So now let's start planning out this. So I'm going to have a path of three down this way. Alright, that's good. It's a little far out, but 
That should be good. Yeah, these are definitely going to be much, much longer. But we're getting a good feel of it right now. Yeah, that's going to turn out quite nice like this. Now, do I need to make the center a little longer or a little wider? Hmm. Well, how would it look if I'm just walking around? Do do do. Do do do. Walking, walking, walking. Walking. This structure here kind of makes it feel smaller. So maybe we should have it out a little bit further. I don't know. Hmm. This is a tough call. Should this be wider or should it is this should this be wider I wonder it looks quite nice like this but if it's too if it's not why if it's too uh, yeah if it's too narrow it'll just start feeling claustrophobic hmm Okay, here, this will be the entrance of the sorting area. Let's see here. What happens if I made it just a wee bit wider? So we'll have three, two. Three. And then maybe a another two. Oh, oh come back here. All right, then another two, another two, and then a one. Hmm. Does that look cool? Is that a nice? A nice circle. Three, two, two, one, two, two, three. Or is that would that be too wide? I think that would be too wide. We're gonna stick with the original original setup. Where'd that go? There it is. Next over here. Oh, hey. Hi, zombie. How you doing? Okay, so... Now let's go ahead and get some glass. Glass, where are you? There you are. Glass. And while we're at it, we should also get some prismarine. There we go, prismarine blocks. Oh, that's looking quite nice. Ah, we need light sources. So let's go ahead and put some light in there too. Because once once we are out of the water. Ah, here we go. Frog bites. Yeah, I think frog lights would look quite nice down here. Let's see here. And I think because frog lights have orientation, um, down or maybe. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and do that this way. And then this could be this orientation. Yeah, there we go. And then we can do the same thing here. 
Yeah, that should be it. good for the light sources. Now let's start filling in some prismarine around here. All right, down we go. How would that look right there? Is that good? Does that look nice? Oh, actually thinking about it, it does. Put that there and then we'll put oxidized copper right in these corners here. Yeah, that's looking quite good. Actually thinking about it, maybe we should put some more oxidized copper around in the center. For now, let's go ahead and start building up. So you'll hop on out, you'll look out, and then we'll have to start looking, we can start looking around. So that means first things first, this needs to be up. Maybe I should start putting in a little bit of the sorting system first. So many options on how to set this up. Let's go ahead and just start setting up part of it. So which way should we begin? Mm. Let's go on this side. So each path will have a different theme. So we have four different paths. It's all underwater, but we'd like to keep the ground the same. So probably should intertwine it with copper, prismarine, and the frog lights. So maybe one like this, followed by a copper, then a frog light. And then copper, and another like this. Yeah, that looks quite good. And then from there, let's go ahead and get out some of this. There's some space. Now we've cleared that bit out. Let's go ahead and put down some, uh, some smooth stone. Because this is where the Smooth stone right there. One and two. So that is where we'll start with. So actually, how far do we want to go? We first come in and then we'll see a whole line of chests. Should the chest start immediately? I think so. I mean, that's how we have it for the last one. But I do like the idea of having a little area here. Plus, this could be the... Hmm. So many options, so many options. Well, let's just continue building. Inspiration will come to us once we get a little more set up. Let's see here, if we have the chests right here, if we can align the chests here, that means we'd have five on each side. So that means right here. Why does it sound like... What do you want? Oh. Copper. All right. That means we want it to be right here. So, that way this could be the chest here. And that means, yeah, that would be fine. I could probably have a path right here or something. But for the most part, this would be good right here. And then the chest could start right there. The chests will be facing towards, towards there. So, right here, chests. Oh, 
Let's see here. Is this a bit too close? Let's see here. We walk in, and then there's the chests. I think I should move them back one. It's a bit too close. Yeah, it's a bit too close. Let's little, let's move it back. Just because we're underwater doesn't mean we need to make it claustrophobic. I think this is looking quite nice so far. And we have to get the guts of the sorting system in though. That will be a bit complicated. Largely, it will be complicated because how are we going to hide it? Because if you think about it, you go out here and go, oh, what a nice view, and then there'll just be a giant pillar of stuff coming this way. If that might be the case, this is actually deep enough. Maybe I could build up a... Yeah. This is actually deep enough. Maybe I could uh, have the sor sorting system a little bit lower. We still want to be able to look up and out, but yeah, that would be a good idea. So let's finish building the sort. Let's finish building this layer of the sorting system. Figure out the height, and then from there, what we can then do is figure out where the observation platform can go.